Hello, my name is Frank McDonald. This video was produced in order to show family and business interests alike just what we do here at UCF Chapter of the ExxonMobil Bernard Harris Science Summer Camp, as well as to give our campers a little something to remember their stay. Enjoy. So on the count of three, are you looking forward to a good summer? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Parents are screaming up louder than the kids are. <laughs> I'm here with Nigel and family. And Nigel, um, I'm trying to get a feel for how everyone feels right now. How do you feel about the camp? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Nervous. You're nervous, and what are you nervous about? About being away for two weeks. Being away for two weeks. That's, and that's understandable. Mom, how do you feel about him being away uh, for two weeks? A little nervous, but yeah. he's been away before, yeah. so. Excited, <laughs> you're gonna get that extra vacation time yes. in for you? <laughs> yeah. Listen up. Basically, this is the time where the parents say, Goodbye to their children. They're now in our care. What we're going to do is we're going to begin walking to Creo, where the pizza party is going to be at. What time do you like to get out? Yeah! yeah. Oh. What scenario would you be open the outside door? No! The program is in its second year and we are primarily interested in individuals of a traditionally underrepresented population, and we want to provide them with activities that will increase their self-confidence and also increase their problem-solving and critical thinking skills. This is a two-week residential camp that includes classroom study, field excursions, experiments, in addition to individual and team projects. Since our theme is forensics, we are very fortunate to have an outstanding forensic science department here, and which is also home to the United States National Center for Forensics, who have so graciously agreed to provide their services to help increase the skills of our campers to investigate crime scenes. got to play basketball and, you know, just playing with new friends. I want to be a scientist. My favorite area in science is friends. I want to be a scientist when I grow up, and I want to be working with rocket science and trying to get rockets to go to Mars and different planets. Oh, we on. Oh, my G. Oh, my G. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The thing that I learned in movie taking home with me is how fingerprints are unique and they're very special, especially the arc, because I have an arc, and that means I'm a real rare, rare person, so I will be taking that home with me to brag about to my friends. To my friends, so. Yeah. During these two weeks, the campers are involved in activities. Can you see the way the ridges flow here? Can you see all those ink pads? That will increase their skills in social interaction. But you've got four arches, which is very uncomfortable. Teamwork, friendship, and responsibility. And we've got a delta here. They must have two deltas. And what are you doing? Is this yours? Oh. No, this is mine. And with these skills, they will form bonds that will last a lifetime. and make memories that are simply priceless. This particular program and the opportunities that it presents for the 50 campers that are here, um, I, I feel offers them the opportunity to, to the college experience in life, to dorm mates, to meeting new people, new things, dealing with biology, chemistry, physics. This program 
I think is a really excellent program for kids. Um, the math and science academics aren't as, I don't know, they're not as well like presented to kids. Oh, this program, I think it's a really great program actually. I, it's the, seeing kids get really excited about science, going into the classroom, asking college level questions and having a college level discussions, it's totally preparing them you know, for a college level experience that uh, they'll definitely be ready for in a couple of years. Uh, my favorite aspect, uh, I'd say, was uh, going to the field trip, going to the Kennedy Space Center. If I can offer any advice to the campers, it would be to stay focused. Um, the one piece of advice that I would give is be ready. Um, life comes quickly. One piece of advice or wisdom I would share for the campers would be to uh, expose yourself to as many uh, things in life as possible. One piece of advice I would leave you is to um, enjoy everything you do, every opportunity you come um, to. You're 13, 12, and 11 now and it'll be five to seven years before you'll be 18. Within that time frame, you have to make sure you keep your GPA up, make sure you apply for each college or university. Um, just be ready. Uh, programs like this will mold you to become who you want to be in the future. You know, who knows, you can be interested in science and math and go on to have a career in science and math. Um, but I mean, don't be afraid to venture off and do different types of things, science, travel, do all kinds of stuff so you can become a more well-rounded person. A lot of the kids at first were like, oh no, school, I just got out of school, why do I want to get back into school? But I mean, it's a very good opportunity, like I said, it um, helps some of the kids to expand their thoughts on what they maybe thought they wanted to do as a career. As life throws you obstacles, remember that with hard work and determination, you can overcome these obstacles and you will succeed. It was an absolute pleasure working with the campers and staff this summer, and I would like to personally thank everyone for their continued support and dedication to the program over the past two weeks. I really wish we had more time, as the time went by way too fast. However, I am confident that the staff has given the campers all of the necessary tools in order to achieve their goals. And to the campers, if you ever feel discouraged as you are pursuing your goals, I would like for you to remember the words of Dr. Bernard Harris. And those are, I am a dreamer who believes nothing is impossible. Thank you.